Hello guys, in this video I will show you the settings and setup for good or for free on the PS3 emulator RPCS3. Here we are on the wiki page of the game. As you can see there are some crucial and important settings that we have to apply just for the game to work properly, so let's get going. First of all, we have to open custom configuration for the good of war. And in the CPU tab, we have to change SPU X float as security for relax and block size for mega. Next, in the GPU tab, we are setting the frame rate to uh, 60 FPS so it can prevent the game from some crashes on the loading screens. And if somebody will be playing on higher than native resolution, we move, must set the resolution scale threshold to 160 per 160. Yes, like that. And lastly, we turn on bright colored buffers and asynchronous texture streaming. Like that. Lastly, in this tab, in the settings here, we must change driver wake up delay to 50 nanoseconds. This will prevent some crashes uh, with the loading screens. Uh, if the crashes will still persist, uh, we may experiment with 100 milliseconds, nanoseconds, sorry, and 200. But first, let's leave at 50. And we change RSX FIFO as a query to atomic. And that's all for the settings. We apply and close. Next, we open the patch manager, manage game patches for the God of War. And we apply the patch for uh, to disable MLAA and SPU MLAA. Just like that. We can uh, apply the patch to skip videos in the game with the X button and just to skip the intro video when we open the game, which is pretty long in my opinion. So I go with that. And as my personal preference, I disable the mo motion blur and deep the field, but that is just me. And lastly we save and we have the game ready to play. And as I get my controller, I can start it. And let's see. You can't hear anything, but let's just change that. Oh, okay. My vengeance ends now. Skip the 
intro video. Zeus! Your son has and we have the game. I bring the 